Hello everybody, I'm Yami D, and welcome back to another episode of Level 1, the show where I talk about my first impressions of a game after playing it for a couple of hours. Today's game is Wings of V for the any... Well, I don't have... I don't... I don't that is no physical. I don't there's no physical. It's just going to appear here. Wings of V for uh, the PC uh, and I believe it's also on Mac OS. Maybe actually it might not be. Let me just take a look. I have my information here. Um, this game was released uh, last year, November 28th, 2014 for Steam. Uh, it can also be purchased on Humble Bundle, which is where I got it in the bundle ARG. These games are hard, which I bought last week by the time you're watching this video it'll be friday so they, it's gone you can't get it in that bundle anymore um but it was a game i have been looking forward to trying because it definitely looked interesting to me as it is uh i want to say it's a 16-bit inspired but it might not be it, it the graphics are 16-bit uh or 32 they they have they have they have a little bit of a retro look to it but at the same time the colors are very vibrant and stuff so that's why i'm gonna say maybe 32-bit maybe 32-bit because this is something I would expect, would have expected to see on Game Boy, maybe not, maybe, or in Game Boy Advance, I, I don't know. It's a wonderful 2D platformer that is super difficult, uh, because it, it's different. The biggest difference from any other platformer I've played is the way you control your jump. In Wings of V, the way you control your jump is a lot different than, say, Super Mario or Sonic. And the reason for it is just one simple reason. You can jump when falling. And that's that's something game changing. There's no double jump, but if you fall off of a ledge, you can jump again. And that's really cool because that's something, they build the whole game around that. They're like, you can't double jump, or at least not yet. I don't know. Like I said, I've only played for a little while. In fact, I believe I've only played about three hours, 20, actually not three hours, 20 minutes. What am I talking about? It was like two and a half. I thought it was way longer than that, but now I'm thinking about it, it definitely didn't take me that long. Um, but that that's what took me to essentially beat the tutorial and like the first stage, sort of. Um, but I'll get to that. So, the way the game works is you wake up as... I think your name is V. Let's see. You do play as V. You do play as V. V, and then I just remember her friend Ruby. Um, anyway, so you wake up uh, and your friend Ruby's like, Oh, I have something to show you. And then you, you follow her, and that gives you the basics of how everything works, uh, jump-wise. Because it shows you how your jump works, because your jump isn't like Mario. It's not, you know, jump and you're in the air and it's awesome, and then you come back just, like, you come back down, like, at a fair space. You go up, and then you go straight down. Like, you, you, you fall fast. You go fast. Because, I don't know, it's, it feels more realistic. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm crazy, maybe it's not like that. Maybe all kinds of games do that, and I'm just stupid. But the game, the jump, the jump feels different. The jump feels good, and it teaches you how to use that jump in any way you could possibly see fit. It teaches you how to do the fall jump, which at first is not something you you feel. It it's not instinct to you because in any other game, if you fell off of something, you can't jump in air. It just doesn't work. You can if you jump, you can double jump in the midair while you're falling, but you can't do your first jump. So in most games, when you have a double jump, that's when you can do your falling jump. In this game, you can fall and then jump, and that's really good, and that really helps. So Ruby takes you, and then you race Ruby, and if you beat Ruby, you get an achievement. And in this game, I'm pretty sure, I'm not sure if all of them, but most of the achievements that I've gotten so far unlock little costume bits, and you can change the way you look. I didn't really use many of them. Uh, just because I haven't gotten that many that I liked. Plus, I mean, the first one you get is just different wings, and to be honest, the wings that you start... V's wings look better, in my opinion, um, than Ruby's wings, because Ruby's got, like... She's got four wings, and they're shorter, and they're just, like, you know, two on the... Like, up top here, and then two on the bottom down here. And I was like, ah, I want to have, like, giant wings, because V's wings are, like... Pfft just huge and they're awesome and they're cool and I love it. So you follow V and she takes you into, not V, fuck, you follow Ruby and she takes you to uh, this place where there's like this giant lizard monster like locked up and then she's like, she picks up a rock and she throws it and it's stupid and it's weird and you're like, what the fuck? Um, and then the monster breaks out and then you have to go, you know, fight the monster and stuff. And then they, uh, they give you your weapon. It, it, it's not a projectile, it's not like 
a full out like extension of you what it does is it just like creates like like almost a wave in front of you and then you point that in any direction if you point it right you can almost make yourself a bubble shield it just doesn't work very well because the enemies don't get knocked back they just they'll fly through it so you have to like hit them enough times so that there's no there's no knockback with the weapon it's a very it's a very just cut and keep cutting through and hopefully you don't get hit and then they teach you how to com like how combat works the combat is simple but very well uh, done and then a little later on they give you your second one of your second major abilities and that's to flutter and it's not the same button as jump it's it's the B button so you press the B button and then you start to flutter well that's how I had it set up I set it up on an Xbox controller so X is to attack B or A is to jump and B is my action which is um, flutter so flutter is how you flutter is sort of like your secondary jump as well as your your glide so if something is a little bit too hard far to reach with your regular jump you jump and then you flutter or if something if the ceilings too low at the part you're at but say next to you or like right past that so it's like the ceilings low but then you go over here and it's like higher again so you could jump but you can't jump here because you're gonna hit yourself you flutter over and then as soon as your flutter ends you jump and then you can make it to whatever ledge you want it makes you think about your jumps a lot differently than you would in other platform games like this and I, I like that because it's it, it feels very different and the different is good and good is different um, and then from there um, then you get to I guess I'd call it the mid boss I'm gonna call it the first main boss because the boss at the end of the area is way more of a boss than this mid boss and I can't remember what her name is but she's a little devil girl I'll probably throw the fucking name of her here as well as maybe a picture of her as well or probably just some footage whatever she teaches you how bosses work and how bosses work is they have like three four five maybe more I don't know the first boss the bigger boss at the end had like five um, but they have small attacks and each of those attacks has a pattern and all you have to do is learn how that attack works and then you can dodge it and if you get really good, I'm not, however, you, there's a very good chance you could probably dodge everything without getting hit. But that's hard to do. So what you do is you beat her, and then you continue on, and then they give you your second ability, which is the slide. And then from there, you can now do a whole array of like jumps using your different abilities. Whether you, whether you slide, jump, and flutter you flutter then jump or jump then flutter like you can get different distances and different heights by using those three abilities and that's really cool because it's, it just works really well and it's very difficult it's very difficult because there's a lot of insta kill things there's some things that take like half your health in one go and then all the enemies are very fast and difficult I want to say it's kinda like Dark Souls in that any enemy in Dark Souls can fuck you up if you're not paying attention and that's how this game feels any of the enemies even the small ones can screw you over if you're not paying attention you have to you have to be aware of everything around you so if the enemy kinda disappears off the screen that doesn't mean they're gone they can jump back in so you better make sure you know which end of the screen he left so you can like punch him out when he comes back and that's just that's just how you have to do it but because of that it makes the game a lot more fun I think because it's difficult but it's not unfair difficult because they're throwing enemies at you and all the controls suck. The controls are different and they teach you how to use those controls and then once you learn how to use those controls they throw you into situations where it's like alright now use what you've learned like old Mega Man and that's great. And then for story like in that first little bit there's not much story other than you've awakened some kind of demon thing and now demons are invading heaven or I believe we're in heaven they might call it something different but it's the se it's the idea of heaven or where the angels live and you have to fight all the demons and stuff and then the first boss of the area is just this giant dragon demon bloody mess monster and it took me about 50 minutes to beat that and it's not like it's not like in some games where like the boss is very long or like, like it takes a while to fight it. No, no, no. Those 50 minutes, I probably tried like 30 or 40 times, maybe more than that, 
to beat it because you die or I get down there and I get hit by a stupid attack and I'll be like, fuck that, I'm restarting because I can do better than that. And in fact, the first time I beat the boss, I ended up dying because one of its like attacks had just gone off as I killed it and the projectiles were still on the screen and it hit me and then like the cutscene began for uh, the defeating of the boss and I got the achievement but then it was like, no, nah, you died so you gotta do it again. And then I had to do it again, and it took me another couple tries after doing that to finally get it. Um, and that's good. And then after that, the gameplay seems to change a bit, but I didn't go any farther than that because I was getting close to where I was like, I think I got a good impression of how I feel about the game so far. And it, and and what and and what happened right after that, and it just started. It, I don't know if it's gonna get better, but the part right after the boss is where it started to get frustrating to a point where I was like, I wasn't sure if I was having as much fun anymore. And that part, which I've actually seen a couple videos of people talking about Wings of E, I haven't seen, like, small, not, not reviews as much as, like, kind of people saying, oh, this game's good, like, it's got good this. They talk about that first area, but then I don't hear much about that after. And right after that first boss, you jump down through the clouds, and there's just... A bunch of missiles flying into the air with these with these guy with these like robots shooting lasers everywhere and you have to kill the robots before you can go by but at the same time you need to dodge these rockets and the rockets do tons of damage like you can get hit by the rockets like twice and then you're done you gotta start over again at the top so you fall down the first you dodge a couple rockets you destroy one robot then three robots come and there's a bunch of rockets so you have to dodge the rockets while you're destroying the robots Great, you made it past that. Next, you have to do, like, you have to dodge. So, like, you're falling down, and there's, like, rockets in a pattern like this. So you have to go into this middle part, fall through the hole so you don't touch the rockets. And then directly after that, there's a line of rockets like this, and just one opening over here. But because you're here, you have to, like, go over and, like, fly up really fast, and then get into the hole. Because if you don't, you get hit. And if you get hit, well, the next part's going to be harder. Because guess what? Right after that, there's another one of those. It's smaller, but because of how low, like, the, there's rockets still above you, you can't just go up high and be like, yeah, I'm good. You have to be like, stay underneath the line of rockets. And it just, it got frustrating to a point where I was like, I thought maybe I'd get to the next, like, small story bit, but I couldn't because I'm like, this is, this is hard. This is frustrating. Um, but other than that, everything up until that point was good and I enjoyed it. Um... But that one little part, like, that that can be frustrating for people, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, other than that, uh, like I said, there's customization. Um, as you get achievements, you get more um, custom pieces of, like, armor and stuff. Well, not armor, not armor even, like, just custom thing. Like, I think there's different outfits. Um, I've What I've unlocked is, I've unlocked, let's see, some wings. It's not, not, it's not really anything special. Some wings. I got a tail, um, and then I also, I found a secret, and all that secret was a bow, so now my character runs, like, V runs around with, like, a bow on her head, and I was like, yeah, cool, um, but there's a lot of different other ones, and I'm, like, I, I'm, I'm not too much of a completionist, but with certain games, I'll definitely play through, and sometimes, even if it's just, like, collecting different pieces of clothing and stuff, I'll do it, because it's interesting, and it's fun, and that's definitely... This game is fun in short bursts. I definitely, I played it, like I said, I played it for like two and a half hours straight. And once I hit that part at the end where you have to like dodge all these rockets, I got really frustrated and I didn't like it. But I'm like, I'll go back to it. In fact, I'll probably go back to it as soon as I'm done recording this little video. So at least, so at least I've given my first impressions without something later in the, later either, you know, making everything look way better to me or may like this is my first impressions this is what I think of the game after playing it for a couple of hours games really fun I love the art style um, I think I only really heard one track but that music was good it wasn't it, it's not anything like this is super sweet like it's not anything like crazy that I'd throw on my iPod but it definitely suits the mood and it makes the game more enjoyable Anyway, Wings of V, uh, definitely an enjoyable game. I will be playing much more of it sometime. Actually, like I said, right away. Um, it's a good game. Uh, if you're into 
punishing games like Dark Souls or well anything from FromSoft recently so Dark Souls, Demon Souls, Bloodborne which I haven't played but looks awesome and looks super difficult um, if you're into games like Super Meat Boy where the game is hard but you know fair because the controls are good um, even I guess maybe even Shovel Knight. Shovel Knight wasn't super hard but Shovel Knight got hard at points so if you like kind of a challenging almost old school but not really old it's like a fusion I say uh, a platformer then definitely pick this up because it's sweet and it's awesome and thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed this video and would like to watch more subscribe if you'd like maybe hit a like leave a comment if you have any questions or recommendations of a game I should try uh, like the video if you liked it of course if you didn't just, that's fine all my social media links are in the description box below and I will be back with more episodes of level one this show uh, in the near future as well as there will be more Donkey Kong next week as well as probably Dread Out and probably Lakeview Cabin collection those three for sure Batman I don't know we'll see but thank you very much for watching. I will be back with more. Bye.